Hello, Scorpio viewers. Let's get right into the reading. So whatever wants to come out here. Six of Cups, Page of Wands. Immediately off the bat, I'm getting that you might get a message from someone from your past, possibly from your childhood. <clears throat> Could be an air sign. Six of Swords. Hmm. Ace of Cups. I'm getting a feminine energy, so this could be a woman or this could be just a, a man that's in feminine energy, but I, they're coming up as a queen of swords type. I feel like the way I'm seeing it is I feel like they walked away from you in the past. I feel like they were very cold, very guarded. They didn't really put their best foot forward, and I feel like... I feel like they moved away. I feel like this is somebody, and this could be like a best friend or something. It could, you know, take it as it resonates. But I kind of feel like this is somebody who's a little bit toxic and bitter. And it's it's normal to be bitter sometimes. Like it happens. You know what I mean? There's sometimes there's just things you got to work through. It's, it's, you know, it, it happens. No need to be hard on yourself. But I feel like this person was, um, how do I explain it? It's almost like they, they had a very limited pers perception. Like they couldn't see things as they actually were. They saw things through the lens of that bitterness. And for some, this could even be you. You could be seeing where you maybe felt rejected by somebody and they weren't actually rejecting you. It was just your ego trying to protect you because you still had past trauma that was affecting your relationships. But for most of you, I feel like this was the other person where it's, it's like kind of somebody that's almost... I almost feel like a victim mentality, but they appear strong. They, they appear, it's like somebody who sees things as they're very quick to cut people off. They're very quick to assume the worst, to assume somebody's rejecting them, to assume um, like very cutthroat. Somebody that's, that's really, uh, like I said, they appear very strong. They appear like a queen of swords type, but it's like there's a lot of, of bitterness beneath all of that. They're very, it, it's kind of somebody that feels like they just have strong boundaries and they kind of, they don't see themselves the way other people see them. Honestly, they, this person, this person kind of sees themselves as like, oh, I have strong boundaries. I have a lot of life experience. This is somebody who I'm getting to that she'll compete with other people about like their trauma or like, oh, I have more life experience than you, or I've been through more trauma than you. Like she's a little bit condescending, he or she male or female, this person's a little bit condescending with people. Um, they, they kind of talk down to people and they think that they're some kind of high priestess, empress kind of guide when actually they're, they're more of a queen of swords type. Um, like they might, yeah, they might just kind of talk down to people and they, they feel like, they feel like just very limited, narrow-minded perspective. Like they feel... It's like they just see through the lens of their trauma and they feel like the way they do things is just, it's, it's the right way. It's the only way to do things. You know what I mean? Like they feel like they have all the answers. They see themselves as such a strong person. Um, but yeah, they're just there and it's good to have boundaries. Don't get me wrong. It really is good to put strong boundaries up to be strong, but, but I just feel like this person, it's like, there's some strength there, but then there's that other side of them that's like, they put like almost like unreasonable boundaries up. Like this is the kind of person that will like flake on you and then be like, you know, oh, it was, it was a boundary. I didn't have to come because I didn't feel like coming where it's like you, you can still, you, you, even if you have to cancel on someone, you can still say, Hey, I'm really sorry. You don't just like say, Oh, that's a boundary by like, don't be mad at me for it. If you like cancel on someone, last minute they're going to be upset and I feel like this is that kind of person where they'll like they'll do toxic things and then they'll be like oh that's just my boundaries that's just my life experience has taught me to be like that you know what I mean like they won't even it, it, it's like they, they have a very limited perspective it's a really interesting energy here because we have ace of cups So is this, this Queen of Swords is coming back around and wanting to make some kind of love offer, some kind of gesture, is that correct? The sun, judgment, ten of pentacles, yeah. 
Whether it's a friend or lover, I feel like this person's wanting to be back in your life again. Temperance. Six of Pentacles. It was a one-sided connection in the past, I feel. Because I feel like this person just took too much. Like they weren't, they didn't really give you a safe space. I feel like the, I feel like the other person is more a queen of cups type or a king of cups type. More gentle, more vulnerable. And I feel like they didn't really have a safe space to be vulnerable with this queen of swords. This person might have also been coming out of a, uh, a, like a toxic relationship or something like that that was kind of clouding their perception so has this queen of swords actually made any real changes or are they just coming back because they're lonely eight of wands yeah i feel like you're they're they're wanting to message a king of pentacles type and again this could be two women this could be two men it could be male and female so if i say male but you know you're like a woman in the king of pentacles energy just take it as it resonates the Tower, Southern of Swords, Death. I don't think this King of Pentacles is going to be super open to it, honestly. This could be like a toxic ex or something that the, ten that the King of Pentacles has. Because it's, it's almost like this Queen of Swords is thinking that, you know, they think they're going to get somewhere with this King of Pentacles and they're coming in quick with a message and there's a tower moment where it's like, nope, like, nope, I remember, I remember the, the sneakiness, I remember this, this Queen of Swords had like a killer, be killed mindset, Queen of Wands, the Fool. Five of Wands, Four of Cups, Three of Pentacles. Tell me more about the this. This is really interesting energy because it's very mixed. It's like, hmm. the High Priestess, the Lovers. Nine of Cups. I feel like this Queen of Swords might have actually caused drama between a Queen of Wands and a King of Pentacles. So this could be like your ex, but it could also be your person's ex that wants to come back in super quick and they're just going to be shut down. It's not going to, it's not going to work. <laughs> um... Or if maybe not an ex, maybe just some kind of outside interference. It's so crazy because I keep getting like third party interference for like most of the readings I've done so far. It's like that's a really strong collective energy that there's just a lot of, I don't know if it's like a planetary alignment that I don't know about that's going on, but there's like a lot of that in the air right now. Tell me more about, tell me what this was. So this is something that they're moving past, but what was the five of wands and the four of cups? Five of Cups. Five of Ten of Wands. Yeah, this person might have been dealing with a, a Queen of Swords, and it might have been causing so much stress that, that he, he or she felt like they couldn't give to the Queen of Wands. They felt like they couldn't commit to this. They couldn't really, really focus on this, so they kind of just let it go. Like, they just kind of broke and let go of all the burdens. Um, or I could see this as also the Queen of Swords, like just trying to cause tension, trying to cause conflict, trying to make them reject this. And I feel like this person did actually reject the Queen of Wands for a little bit. I think they reached that breaking point where they're just like, I'm letting everything go. Like, I think this, I think this King of Pentacles got to a point where he was like, you know what, screw all, screw, screw all you guys. Like, I'm out. Like, I don't want to deal with any of you. Like, he might have, he or she might have isolated themselves. But it looks like they're wanting to build something now. It does look like they regret rejecting this with this Queen of Wands and they are wanting to build something.
High Priestess, Lovers, Nine of Cups. Yeah, because he's he or she is realizing that this is their wish fulfillment. This is a very spiritual union, too, with the High Priestess and the Lovers. This is like twin flames, soulmates. Very this this couple is very telepathically connected. And I feel like somebody here knows too. They might not speak on it, but they know. I feel like they both know that this is like a twin flame union or a soulmate union. They both know what they have with each other. I think one of them just got lost in some drama or they had some stuff to deal with and they just kind of just said screw everybody. But I think now they're coming back around and they're like, wait a minute, like I'm using my intuition. I'm staying strong because I know this is my wish fulfillment. Tell me more about this. Yeah, someone's coming in quick. Yeah, with a love offer. Two of Cups, they want to build. Page of, yeah. <laughs> We've got like like love offer after love offer. Yeah, King of Wands wanting to come in to the Queen of Wands. Wanting to make some kind of love offer here. Five of Pentacles. The Hanged Man. Seven of Cups. Yeah, there was some kind of perspective shift that that caused him to let again again sorry if I say male but you know it's female just take it as it resonates could be two men two women but I'm just going to say he she just cuz it makes it easier so just put the you know put yourself in the role that fits. But there's something that caused him to reject this queen of wands it's like kind of like let, like there's like a perspective shift where there but it was like an illusion but he felt like it was a legit perspective shift, you know what I mean? And I feel like it could have just been him having too much on his plate as well. Three of Wands, the Moon. Yeah, something that was hidden came to light, I feel. And I think he's also realizing he can't really... It's like he was waiting and trying to find answers and trying to figure it out. And I just think he kept going in circles and there was some kind of truth that was revealed. And now he's wanting to heal this connection with the Star. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, he's not wanting to let go of it. He wants to hold on to it tightly. Knight of Cups, King of Swords. Ten of Cups. I also feel like he's not letting anybody get in the way of this connection because usually I, for a minute, I mean, for some, it could just mean like he is, he might come back and like a, you know, he's still going to have that side that, that kind of, he's still stressed out, you know what I mean? So there might be a little bit of that distance still, but I'm also just seeing this as he is like, he's not letting anybody get in the way of this. He's holding on to this tightly. He's not letting any third parties, any, any exes, any, whoever was stressing him out, whoever that queen of swords was. He's not doing it with her. He's he's not he's not dealing with it anymore. He's going to be the king of swords when it comes to her. He's going to cut anybody out that tries to separate him from getting to this 10 of cups, from getting his wish fulfillment with this high priestess queen of wands type. He's he's not letting anything get in his way. So, it's a really beautiful energy. Um oh, I'm sorry. I'll try to I didn't realize these were all like <laughs> I just looked at the camera. I'm sorry. I apologize. Anyway, if you guys would like a private reading, uh, my email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. That email is right below in the description box. I charge $50 for a 30 plus minute video reading. Um, I usually, usually they go anywhere from like 30 minutes to an hour or more. And um, yeah, please also like, comment, share, subscribe. Even just leaving a heart comment really helps me get back in the algorithm. So thank you guys for watching.